Uh, so this is a patient that I presented at Tumor Board. Um, this is a, a T2, and this is a uh, post-con. Although it looks like a T2. Let me see. Yeah, that is a post. Okay, that's a post. And pre, it was not enhancing. So this is, I feel like it's like an ant mini. Is it not an ant mini? Because all the lesions I've seen look exactly like this. And I, and I present this not because it's an ant mini, it's because if you see this, next time you see it again, they all look like this. Um, so and they often show them on foam panels too, because it's like that's <laughs> very classic appearing. Yeah. Uh, do you have the, uh, I mean, do you want me to tell you what I think it is? Um, well, I know, I know you know what, what it is. <laughs> Can you go to the axial to, to show them how it, it basically usually is like a bilobed lesion. Yeah. You know, my, the windowing is a little um, funny. So let me see if I can, here, I'll take it away. So here's a lesion right here along the anterior vagina. And it's coming down into the perineum. And this type of lesion does this all the time. Yeah, this is actually like a weirder one because it's, go, it's like growing in two different directions, which is kind of unusual. Yeah. This is treated and then was treated again. <laughs> this is like a refractory. And they usually are. They're very they're locally aggressive. Anyways, this is an angiomyxoma. Uh, it's a mesenchymal tumor. And they all look like this, uh, and, I, and, and that's why I show this case. Anything else to add, Arthur or Victor? Um, so yeah, they're often called aggressive angiomyxomas, and um, they have a lot high rate of local recurrence, kind of like desmoid tumors. Um, mm -hmm. And they tend to grow sort of there. There'll be within the pelvis, and then grow exophytically out of the pelvis into the perineal area. Um, they're benign tumors, but they they tend to recur, so they can be a huge pain. And then one of the characteristic things is, is like it's very it's pretty T2 bright, like you can see on your sagittal image here, um, but that they enhance pretty avidly. So that's that's the mixoid component. Um, so a lot of mixoid tumors will do that, like even MSK tumors that are mixoid will be mm -hmm. T2 bright but enhance. Um, and they're very vascular. So, I mean, I, it was discussed that sometimes they can um, embolize these. I, I, I didn't know that. But. Oh, I didn't know that. 